The Gale, a tune by Trevor Jones, made famous in the movie Last of the Mohicans, which is quite an international sensation for its time. Daniel Day-Lewis playing a Native American. It was a wonderful movie and it's got this haunting violin, which I've transposed for us guys, cello players. Let's not dilly-dally anymore and get right into the technique of playing The Gale. Theme from Last of the Mohicans. The first detail you must know to play the gale is the D minor scale. If you are unfamiliar with the D minor scale, I made a video about that. You can check that out. Come right back to this lesson video. Now that you know the fingering for the D minor scale, it's really as it comes all in first position nothing to worry about. I gave you all the fingerings and if you notice that it, this is an eight bar melody. The first two bars go as such. That is it. That's all you need to worry about. You repeat it twice. In the first two measures of the melody, you need to be wary of the string cross between the C natural and the open D. It happens here. And so when you do that, you want to arch your finger as much as possible and try to remain the fourth finger on the G string, playing the C. It's one less thing to worry about when you are playing this melody. You have that four on target and you just string cross back and forth. It's just fundamental cello technique. It's something to get used to playing a note, going across and going back to the note, especially if there's a single note in between, as you see here at the end of the first and second measure. Going on to the third measure, we have an accidental B natural. And when you do this, you don't want to have your bow drift off to the tip. So do a slight martelé. And remember, a martelé is a forceful bow stroke that moves the bow back and forth. And you can do that martelé motion. Martelé. Martelé. And you want to remain back to the place where you began those legatos. The fourth measure, you do a little bit differently. You're ending on a down bow. Starting the fifth measure, up bow. The sixth measure is down bow. The seventh measure of the melody starts on an up bow. And that is where you get right back into your simple down, up, down. And then... It is imperative that you follow the bowing for the gale because it keeps you in the flow of everything. It, it has you do some little skips, which is, feels very much like you're dancing, also flowing back and forth. There's a detail about this song I'll leave you with on this lesson. It is not meant to be played from a partition. It is meant to be played from memory. You must play it that way in order to fully realize the spirit of the piece. Here in France, people don't say you play by memory. You say you play par coeur, you play by the heart. And it's a very different manner of approaching music when you think of it like that. If you play something by memory, you are playing it in a very technical, sort of regurgitative way. But if you are playing a song by heart, you are allowing your emotions to flow into the piece and put even a little bit of soul behind your performance. And that's what this piece is about. It's about playing not only from your heart, but with your soul as well. And let the melody take you away. I have arranged this for your pleasure, so please enjoy it. Download it on MuseScore. Listen to the different partitions on SoundCloud as well. You can play any of the three parts. I suggest that you have some fun with it. Thank you to you subscribers. I've had at least two of you request this song. 
It's a popular song here in France as well. So I'm, it was my pleasure to arrange it because as you know, I love teaching cello. And if this song gets you closer to realizing your dreams on this journey of music, then I'm happy to have been a part of that. Thanks for watching my video today. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done already. And these are some videos you might like. And because it's so beautiful, I'm just gonna play the melody until this video runs out. Thank you.